Uh, you mentioned Joe Felix. What did you make of him tonight, Ale? Well, like any other match for Joao Felix, there are moments in which you think, yeah, there is something here, and then he goes and disappears for long periods of time. Now, clearly, there are moments in which when he gets a ball on his feet and he's able to get out of uh, tight spaces because of the uh, skill set that he has available, then you think, man, this guy should be on the field all the time. But then he goes missing. And, and I think that is the part that Diego Simeone has not been able to address with Joao Felix. And the fact that there is a, in my opinion, there is a mistrust here from Diego Simeone and Joao Felix in that he knows and he recognizes he's a talented player, but is he a winner? And is he, is he my kind of winner? And I don't think that Diego Simeone is yet to answer that question positively when it comes to Joao Felix. He puts him out there, he produces sometimes, not all the time, and because there's that lack of trust, when there's a moment to make a change, he kind of says, yeah, I'll put anybody else out there other than Joao Felix. That's, that's sort of the perception that I get from Diego Simeone and what his uh, evaluation of the player is. He recognizes there's a talent, but he doesn't trust that this guy can win games for him consistently. Uh, now, we've talked about the losing side. We must give a mention to Athletic Club winning this game against Athletic. Sid, is there a case to be made that Athletic Club are actually a tougher opponent for Real Madrid in the final than Athletic, given what we've seen this season? <laughs> well, given what we've seen the last month, isn't it? They played, played each other within the space of a month. They um, racked up over 30 shots against Real Madrid and lost both games. Uh, and, and, it, and it's quite bizarre. You look at those two games, you think it's extraordinary to, to, to watch those two games, to do it by the maths in terms of the number of shots on target, but to, put, to, to do it by the, if you like, the feeling of watching the games as well and think, wait a minute, these two performances ended up with Athletic getting nothing out of Real Madrid. Um, if there is some justice in terms of a continuation of those two games, then Athletic are absolutely a team that can beat Real Madrid. I wonder if there might be a kind of a psychological impact of having not won those two games, but they play very well. I think stylistically, they're difficult for Real Madrid as well. This is a team that, that, that's very, very aggressive um, in terms of the amount of running it does. It, it, it has more high-intensity runs and more distance covered than any other team in La Liga. They're largely quite defensive. They play in relatively rigid um, two lines of four with a two in front of them. Uh, and in that sense, I think they're a team that will wait for Real Madrid. And that's the kind of team that have tended to make Real Madrid's life difficult for them this season. And so it could be a really good final. And let's not forget, by the way, Athletic Club are the current Super Cup champions. They won this last year, having beaten Real Madrid and Barcelona en route.